my beloved brothers, my sisters, be conscious of the day in which you are going to return to Allah. Be conscious of the day in which you are going to return to Allah. Prepare for that day. We have many issues across the globe that we need to speak about and remind one another about with the idea of preparing for the day we are going to meet with Allah. When you achieve on this earth, thank Allah. And don't let that achievement make you turn away from your Lord. Ya ayyuhal insanu ma gharraka bi rabbika al-kareem. O man, what is it that has deceived you against your own Lord? الذي خلقك فسواك فادلك في أي صورة ما شاء ركبك. The one who has created you, he has fashioned you, he has given you your identity. The one who has really given you your shape and your form. How can you turn away from your Lord? Similarly, when it comes to loss, my brothers and sisters, the opposite of the achievement, like I said, do not let your achievements distance you from Allah. The more you get, the closer you should become to Allah. That means you have the blessings of Allah. It's easy to earn, it's easy to get power, it's easy to have authority, it's easy to be placed above others in terms of position and so on. But it's not easy for everyone to allow that particular gift of Allah to make you actually come closer to Allah. When your gift has allowed you to come closer to Allah, you have indeed achieved. In a similar fashion, when you suffer a loss, people are divided into two categories. At times, the loss would actually make people closer to Allah. That is a gift of Allah. Any loss that brings you closer to Allah is not a loss. It is a gain. Even if that loss lasts your entire lifetime, in the hereafter when you meet with Allah, you will have achieved the everlasting bliss of Jannatul Firdaus. My beloved brothers, my sisters, there are some from amongst us whom when they suffer a loss, they turn to haram, they turn to intoxicants, they turn to that which is in disobedience of Allah. Don't let that happen. Whether it is suffering a loss in your family, in your social circles, in your authority, or in your wealth, in your health. When you suffer a loss as a believer, come closer to Allah. One might ask, how long should I bear patience? My brothers and sisters, bear patience for as long as it takes. No problem. Are you not a believer? Allah says, Allah recompenses those who bear patience unlimitedly without an account. Without a limit. Imagine someone says, I'm going to give you unlimited. What do you want? What do you want? No matter what you say, you can continue to ask. That is the reward of the one who bears patience. It is said that the one who is sick and ill, when he or she bears patience for the sake of Allah, when they see the reward of the sabr, that Allah chose them to go through on the day of judgment, they will have hoped that they remained sick and ill for longer so that they could have a bigger reward. Imagine when you are bearing patience, doing nothing but bearing patience. It is so tough that Allah Almighty gives you a reward only on that condition. You are earning a reward only because you are bearing patience. So tune yourselves to come closer to Allah as the days pass. May Allah Almighty grant us from His goodness.